कर दिया So I probably got about this much experience uh, with tarpon fishing. I had a buddy out in Florida. He took me out tarpon fishing and uh, basically he hooked up with the tarpon at night, handed me the reel. I got a chance to fight it and kind of see it, see it up close and personal. But other than that, like all I really know about tarpon fishing comes from those like tarpon fly fishing videos. I mean, I still geek out over them today. So my buddy Mark starts sending me photos and videos of Texas tarpon. Right. Again. I got the heat on them. Get your picture. We put this in the rock. Ah. I got one. So after seeing that, I told Mark, look man, anytime I can tag along to fish and film. Let me know and I'll be there. Texas Tarpon. If y'all ain't know, I'm from Texas. Count me in, I'm down 100%. So Mark hits me up like on a random Wednesday night. It's like 8 p.m. He's like, they found a tarpon in Port O'Connor. So I'm like three hours away from Port O'Connor. So I gotta leave by 3 a.m. to go meet them at the launch around six. What's up, Chad? Yeah, I'm down, brother. Hey, nice meeting you. Man. Nice you meeting too, you, man. the camera on in the excitement we'll build some drama we'll build some drama <laughs> good eye, good eye. well that was about the extent of the action that day the conditions go to shit and we're sight fishing and we just can't see them between the waves A couple weeks later, Mark hits me up again. The tarpon are in Galveston. I roll out to meet him. 
and we head out in this bait boat, a 14 foot Carolina skip. The conditions were perfect. It was glass, no wind. If the fish are out, we'd be able to see them. Right there. Oh yeah. Jump. Oh yeah. Woo. Got it. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's some action right there, bro. That's some action right there. Pulling the boat. I'll get, I'll get that one. This one, this one looks big. That's bigger than mine. That's a big one. That is a big one. Just keep cranking, right? Yep. Woo! I'm not too bad. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. Couldn't have Double planned, hook up couldn't have planned this any better. Beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. Yeah. These things are tanks. Oh yeah. Luckily you got a T-speed. He starts really digging. Gas tank mount around. <laughs> See if you can post it up. Fighting tarp. They start getting the line start getting together, get it slack. Because uh braid cuts braid. Yeah, we, we can just keep them apart, keep the lines from tangling. 
we'll get both of these. We've had them on, on both long enough. If you're going to lose them, you'll lose them pretty quick. you got to uh, guide that line also. Okay, gotcha. Got him. Whoo! Pink tail. That's, that's legal to do here, right? Yeah. Shit everywhere. Serious. Got him. Yeah. We got him. Party up here. Poon party. Poon party. It's poon party. Yeah. Oh yeah, he gone. Bro, 
Uh, dope. That's what it's about, huh? That's what it's about. Shit right there, boy. I don't care who you are. We came out here looking for tarpon, ended up doubling up. Hi. How y'all doing? Fish off. Oh, fish off. Miss that one. <laughs> Top three fishing trips, hands down. The one thing you quickly discover about tarpon fishing is that people get super triggered over tarpon. I get it, man. You know, tarpon's a bucket list fish. Florida has a massive industry on it and Generally, what people know tarpon is from Florida tarpon fishing. You know, people get really passionate about it, man. It gets as heated as like talking about like religion or, or politics. Tarpon. After we caught these fish, I knew we would get some shit for the handling. We lipped them, we brought them in the boat. I mean, I've seen some shit go down on social media over some tarpon photos. There's a story that came out of Port O'Connor a little bit after we caught our tarpon. This guy hooks up with a tarpon, like a 240 pound beast of a tarpon. And the kicker is he's a dad and he catches this fish on his son's bachelor party. I mean, how cool is that? And there's this photo of the bachelor party like holding up this massive tarpon i mean that's like a once in a lifetime catch and to be able to do it on your son's bachelor party that's pretty badass so those photos get shared on social media and people start tripping a lot of the tarpon guy just went in on him you know really trying to shame him they were like he gone he dead look at that dead tarpon Congratulations on marrying your cousins and inbreds. This is what some people were saying, like just trying to shame these guys. I mean, these guys caught these fish legally, like 100% legal. In fact, like in Texas, you can keep one tarpon every single day. You know, they could have mounted this fish, uh, they could have ate it, but they let it go. They took some pictures and they let it go. Still, people flipping out. Look man, here's the deal, like different places have different values, they have different rules. You know, I'm not against like having conversations and discussions about like fish handling, but there's no need to like bash people. Like I don't think you, you connect or communicate or educate people that way. It just creates, creates division, you know? And frankly, like a lot of those people just look like elitists. They're out to make an example of someone at the end of the day, man, we're all fishing. And maybe if tarpon had as much commercial value here in Texas, maybe we'd tighten up the handling rules. As of now, lip gaffing them, bringing them in the boat, taking them out of the water, even taking one tarpon per day is completely legal here. I don't think people do that. Like everybody still releases tarpon. The crazy thing is, is that like in other countries, like people eat tarpon. Like this sport fishing thing is like a weird thing for most other countries. So when I posted my tarpon photo on Facebook, like my dad saw it, was geeking out. He shared it, was talking about all the different recipes and ways he was gonna cook it. <laughs> I had to break it to him, man. Like we let it go. Like we had no intention of, of keeping that tarpon. Look man, at the end of the day, my point is it's like different places, different cultures. They have a different value 
on fish. And some people get really attached and passionate about one specific fish. Tarpon's definitely one of those. I think if we didn't have a double hookup, we probably would have taken like more traditional side of the boat photos. But then like the rush and the excitement of that double hookup on this 14 foot skiff in our home waters, that's just how it ended up playing out. And I know it's not a mainstream way of handling these fish. And I'm not necessarily advocating it. I'm just saying that's how I went down. That's the story.